Hello everybody, and I am Justin Pontarelli, and again, we're going to be doing some interstellar pilots. And I know the topic has been covered in other videos by other people, but I want to do my own take on it. And what I want to do is I want to go step by step and try and try to explain and express how to become a successful refinery owner. So let's start at the beginning. First things first, you want to make sure that you have the capital ships pack. So if you don't have the capital ships pack, you can't do this. Now it's relatively cheap, and for the amount of money you pay, it's more than worth it to be able to use all these ships, the Crayon, the Ares, the Overlord, the Magnus, to be able to use the Fleet Commander beginning is pretty fun, to be a refinery owner, and to be able to finally build a trade station. It's well worth it. I recommend it, okay? And it's not expensive, so... Just be honest with the people who made this game, and just buy it, okay? Um, I, I definitely recommend the Capital Ships Pack. And if you watch my review of the Capital Ships Pack, that is one of my conclusions. It's worth it, okay? So, if you haven't done that yet, buy the Capital Ships Pack. Now step two. Let's go to a new game. And you can either pick a universe game, or in my case, we're going to do a custom universe. And I would, you know, I like the tiny universes, they're nice, but the economies can kind of jam up, so let's go to a small universe, where there's much less chance of the economy locking up. Go to next, down to the bottom, and we're going to pick out refinery owner. Play. Now, they're probably going to start you in one of those ice asteroid areas. The blue asteroids, okay? The bluish ones. And they didn't. That's amazing. Because I was going to say, if they start you in an ice asteroid place, you want to go to one... Um, you want to go to one of these areas. Now let's do this. Let's go to Scanner. Okay, kind of want to go to the nearest clump of rocks, as close as you can get, basically. Okay, so let's go in that direction. Now, we also have, let's actually, let's do this first. Let's go to Log, Properties, and let's tell this little guy here to follow me around. And at the same time, he'll want to dock and just intercept hostiles. We don't want him wandering around and trying to kill things for us. That's just not going to work. Okay. So they do start you with an Ares A-class vessel, a shuttle, and the parts um, are in your cargo bay to build, the, to build the refinery. Okay. Right there, refinery parts on the top of our cargo list. So all we got to do is pick a place to eject the thing in, or not eject it, but uh, deploy it. Uh, first of all, I want to check, take a look at the um, the map here, because you know. Um, anyway, let's build over here actually, because I don't want to be so close to this other station. Maybe I'm gonna, let me just double check again here. So first things first is you really want to pick a nice place to set up shop. Let's actually set up over here. That'd be more fun. Let's do that. It's got to be, you know, away from the wormhole and away from everyone else. Okay. So I'm going to pause the recording while I go over there 
And when I'm ready to set up, I will. Okay, now here we are. We have resumed recording. And let's go to the sector map. And my goal has been to kind of get closer to the wormhole, because we're really far away, actually, now that I think about it. But at the same time, you want to kind of be away from the rocks, because otherwise, because there's limits on where the computer will let you build. Let's just check where we are, okay? So we're actually kind of far away from this thing. Let's see if we can get a little closer, shall we? Let's try something. Let's go to sector map. Let's click on this guy here. Okay. Kind of far away from him. Uh, let's do this. There's another asteroid right there. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm kind of being picky. Alright, so, uh... You know, let's not worry about it too much, but, um... Yeah, anyway, so... Let's see where we are. Alright. Let's check the nearest asteroid. Let's try to get a little more away from it. That should probably do. Okay. This doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going to save the file anyway. So let's try this. When you're ready to deploy, when you've picked out the spot that you want, and, and again, my recommendation is this. Okay? What you want to do is you want to be um, as close as possible to the wormhole, but at the same time, you want to be really close to your target asteroids. Because that's where all the mining is going to go on. You're going you're to be a miner. Okay, you're going to own a refinery. So get close to these rocks. So go to the sector map. Check it out. You don't want to be too close to anyone else in case they ever turn against you or in case you want to eventually attack them. Not that I want to attack a sleep pod factory, but you never know. Um, so... Anyway, at the very least, you want to be in a place that's defensible and also close to the wormhole so you can do some trading eventually. And so let's try setting up shop here. This might work. So first of all, um, make sure we're far enough away from these rocks. Let's go out to at least 300 out. That should do. Ship. Cargo. Deploy. Bingo. Check it out. We've got it going on. Perfect. Now... Let me pause the game while I explain a few things. First things first, go into your cargo again. Notice we've got weaponry, but no turrets. And this ship is not a mining vessel, and neither is the shuttle. So what's the problem? First problem is that I highly recommend that you buy your own mining vessel. But you can't, because you only have 35,000 credits. And let's be honest with ourselves. You're not going to make a successful mining operation if you cannot actively collect your own ores from the asteroids. In other words, you need your own mining vessel. It would also be very useful if you had your own hauler as well and maybe even a turret or two to defend your new base. Because let's be honest with ourselves, um, since we're, an, we're considered to be honorable, or normal, I'm sorry, um, eventually you're going to come across factions that don't like you. There's always pirate factions that will eventually want to attack you, okay? And yes, it would be nice to have this vessel to defend us. But at the moment, we would be dependent on um, an independent uh, miners, such as this guy right here, to provide us with ore. And it's not guaranteed to happen. Okay? We're not guaranteed to have this guy come along and say, Okay, I'll deposit my ore at your station. On top of that, you're going to be buying his ore. 
So at a certain point, if no one trades with you, you would need a trader to actively, or, or, or a trading vessel, a freighter, to actively take the stuff that your refinery is producing and sell it at other places. So our next goal is to find a shipyard. Okay. Because we're going we're gonna to be trading this thing in and buying some other stuff with it. Okay. So we're now, now we're going to be targeting this wormhole and going through it. At this point, our refinery is probably safe from bandits. Okay. Typically they attack ships, not stations. And I don't think there's any bandits in this area, so you should be fine. Okay. So at this point, your job is to explore. Okay. If you're playing on a universe map, then you probably already know where the nearest... Um, shipyard is um, at this point though we don't know okay we don't know so we have to find it now let's take a look at the uh, the big map so let's try going over here and seeing if there is a shipyard in that sector there so like I said Start to explore, because your next goal is to trade this thing in, along with your shuttle, for some money. Once I have found the shipyard, I'm going to resume recording, and we'll go from there. Okay, so remember, next step, find the shipyard. Go exploring. Okay, resuming recording. Now guys, let's uh let's check out the circumstances here, okay? Um in this sector there are, there are no um shipyards. I have not found any yet. So, worst case scenario, you have to spend a little bit of money to quickly find a shipyard, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and plop down some money to get some information. Let's talk to this guy. Intel. So just go ahead and buy Intel. And the goal is simply to explore, or I'm sorry, buy Intel until you found a place to, to go. We found a place. Toggle waypoint. Okay. That's it, we're good. Um, now you could buy more intel if you want to, but every little bit of money counts. So, and our, our waypoint happens to be right in the sector. That's amazing, that's great. Oh, we got a trade station here as well, which was expected. Um, you also wanna make sure there's places to get weaponry and stuff. Let's go to cargo prices. Uh, plenty of places, that's that's great. Um, yeah. So let's see how far we got to go. Not too far. So at this point, don't pick any fights. Don't make any enemies. Don't interfere with bandit fights. You don't want a bounty on your head this early in the game. Let's just focus on getting your station set up, okay? So let's hop in the shipyard. Actually, we don't want to go here necessarily. Um, yeah, I'm going to say oops. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> we do need the shipyard, though, so let's not lose track of that, though. One second. Okay, that's fine. Those refineries are okay. No big deal. Um, okay, we let's just double check a few things. All right. 
So let's see. We want to make sure we have access to a trade station. Military outposts. Okay. And refineries. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll dock here. This isn't necessarily the next step, but we're doing it anyway. Now let's go to log, property. Let's tell our shuttle to dock with us. Dock at my station. There he is. Okay. Now let's sell this thing, shall we? Okay. Now at this point, you want to take stock of how much credits you have. 200 some odd is not a lot. So you kind of want to take a minimalist approach to the situation. We have a station being built. Okay. Go here. Property. There it is. It's being built. Okay. It's going to take a little while. It's, it's a refinery. Okay. Um, we're going to end up selling the shuttle too, but for now it can just sit where it, it can just stay where it is. Okay. Now at this point, what we want to do, you know, is we're going to want to buy a mining vessel. Okay. If we can get our own ore deposited, deposited in the refinery and start producing goods on our own, that is really the next step. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and request taxi and just look around if you if you want to. No big deal. So there's ours going up. There's other refineries in the ice area. Let's go to the trade station. Or no, I'm sorry. No, my apologies. <laughs> We want a mining ship. So let's we can now we can either wait until ours is built. Okay. And even though it does not exist yet, it looks like we can actually go ahead and buy a ship. So that's interesting. One second though. Let's go back to that shipyard. Um or actually first. Let's see, Constapa, whatever. Actually, that, that's not a bad place to go. Let's go there because we can actually go and get our get our get our stuff equipped. Um, let's see, one second. You know, that's probably let's go there. It's in the, it's like in the middle of everywhere, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it's a matter where you go. So, so yeah, literally the next step is to get a mining vessel, a hauler M. M means mining, buy and enter. Now, deck it out. Go to equipment, show compatible only. In my opinion, switch out the front mining turret for an advanced mining turret, buy that thing, sell the other one, um, and at this point, you only have so much left, so let's take this thing, and we're going to want to undock, and let's be honest with ourselves. Let's go... Cargo prices, if we can buy a turret, let's do it. So, laser 5, toggle waypoint, order move 2. Okay, now, go to, uh, go to property, get in your little vessel, enter, 
and sell that thing too. Now that should give us enough credits to get ourselves a nice turret. Okay. And there's our there's our refinery. <laughs> Okay, now, you want to do all this as fast as possible because once your, once your refinery starts taking in ore, you're going to start having to make purchases. And at this point, there's no way to block purchases, purchase from anyone. Okay. And you really don't want to declare war on anyone, so... Let's just get to our destination as fast as possible. Okay. Because we need at least a little bit of defense. And at this point, a turret is going to be your best bet. Because if any pirates come along and pick a fight, you need a way to stop them. And you're not going to stop them with this little uh, mining ship. Although you could try, I'm not, not going to say you can't. If you equip it properly, you could make this into a decent fighting vessel. Okay. But at the moment, that's not your goal. Your goal is to start... Uh, your goal is to set up the defense and to start using this thing for its intended purpose, which is to mine ore. Okay. But before the money drain, uh, dries up, go and get yourself a turret. Now, if you don't want to drop the money on a level 5 turret, you can buy a level 3 turret. Not a big deal. Depends on if you want to spend more money on your ship or not. Now, we're not going anywhere with this thing. We're not doing much with it. We're just going to be mining ore. So although you would eventually want to, like, you know, upgrade this thing, right now you don't need to, okay? So you can just keep it as is, whatever, not a big deal, okay? Um, for right now, keeping the missiles on it, it's fine, okay? So here we are. We're at the shipyard. Go to trade. And this is why you need to have access to a shipyard. Buy one, that's all we can afford. Not a lot of money left. Let's go to cargo prices. There's our refinery. Toggle waypoint order move to. Alright, sorry guys, I had to pause the recording for a sec. Um, anywhere, where were we? Okay. So I bought ourselves the, uh, the turret for defense. Because the idea is we want to take this ship and spend most of our time just um, mining ore. Okay. This thing needs to go do its job. This thing is equipped now with a level 2 mining laser, which makes a big difference. If you ever try mining manually, it's a pain, especially with just a level 1 mining laser. But if you have a level 2, it's a lot better. And I recommend you just have this thing automatically mine ore, as opposed to having it, uh, as opposed to trying to do it manually yourself, okay? Definitely try it manually at first to get the hang of how it's done. But when you have the computer do it, for some reason it seems to do it better and faster. Okay. So at this point we're just kinda we're just kinda gonna try to get to our station. Which I don't think should take too long at this point. We're almost there. Okay. So the next step though is to set up the turret because you need the defense. That's all there is to it. 
And in general, you want to kind of put the turret close to where you're going to be mining, yet at the same time, you also want it close to your station as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to log, sector map. And if I could use the pen, which we can't because, in my opinion, do you... Uh, the, re the guy, you know, the D recording guys got greedy, okay, and they want to charge you to use a pen. So, no offense to you, but you're greedy. All right. Because otherwise I, I could mark down where you generally want to plop down this thing, okay, where you want to plop down the station or the turret. So sector map, zoom in a bit. So... Like I said, you kind of want it near the rocks, and you kind of want it near your station, okay? So I'm going to kind of pick out a location, and I'll go from there, okay? So in this sense, I'm going to kind of go in this direction. I'm going to point myself towards the rock or the asteroid. At the same time, you want to be kind of close to the uh, refinery. So we'll try about 100 distance out so let's that's just fine let's just check the uh, map real quick zoom in center it that should be fine we'll put it there I'm not gonna be picky because it's I'm not gonna save this file now look at the cargo deploy boom there you go you're all set and now let's pick let's find the nearest rock so scanner Asteroid. Okay. There it is. Now, manually mining, like I said, is hard, but I'll show you how it's done. It's not a big deal. First of all, you kind of want to get within tractor beam distance, which is about 100, and then just shoot the rock. As soon as the thing lights up blue, shoot it. Don't even wait. Just blue, shoot it. That's it. Kind of like you're targeting any other station. See the thing right there? That little chunk that came off? Click the tractor beam icon. And that's how you mine ore. Okay. It's boring. It's tedious. I'm not going to lie. Now you can either target, target it manually, press the tractor beam icon, or you press the little thing in the corner that allows you to do it automatically. Okay. Kind of like picking up uh, salvage. Same concept. You can click and click your tractor beam icon or you can click the little shortcut thing that pops up. Picking, clicking on the shortcut icon is probably quicker. All right, now, this is boring, right? I agree. Let's go here. Ship, orders, fleet settings, prefer to dock, stance, intercept hostiles, home base, pick your place. Um, click on fleet settings again, go to special, mine asteroids. Now, he's going to reposition himself. Why? I don't know. Probably because he knows the sweet spot and we don't. Okay. Once he's in position. Oh, he wants to pick another rock. I guess he has his favorites. <laughs> okay. That's fine. And there he goes. He's even further away than we were. Look at that. Neat, right? Okay. He's got the same strategy. Okay, notice it barely turns blue. He shoots it. Okay. Yep, there's the rock. He sees it, don't worry. He tractors it for you. It's all automatic. It's under control. At this point, what's your job? Your job is to make sure he knows where to dump his cargo. Here's what I also recommend. Let's go to ship. 
orders, fleet settings, home base, restrict jump distance to zero. Okay. Now what's that going to do? That's going to force him to find a place to dump his cargo right here in the sector. Okay. Now, now I'll tell you right off the bat, the computer seems to want to always sell the cargo. Meaning, if there's another rival refinery in this area, they will try to sell it there. Okay. So let's do a quick scan. I don't see any, so he should just go and deposit the ore back at our refinery. Alright. So let's see what he does. So it looks like he's full. Okay. He's going back to ours. That's great. That's awesome. Very nice. Okay. These are also miners, okay? So, we're also having other miners come along and sell their cargo at our refinery. Now, you might start thinking to yourselves, we're losing money, like right and left. Okay. That's true. At first, you'd, you'd lose money. That's okay. Now, your ship can mine ore and deposit it for free. That's why you want to get your own mining vessel. So you don't have to pay for other mining vessels to come along and deposit at your station. Otherwise you put yourself at their mercy. And if and if traders come infrequently to buy stuff at your station, then you're in trouble. Okay. So Notice that we've been on autopilot for a while, and he should have deposited the ore already. We can help him out. Let's go to cargo transfer. So if this happens, that's all you're going to do. Cargo transfer. Iron ore. Kick it on over. Copper ore. Kick it on over. Okay. At this point, he automatically leaves. That's all you got to do. Sometimes they can do the process on their own, no big deal. Other times they get stuck for some reason, I'm not sure why. Okay. At this point, let's take a look at our transactions. So log transactions. And let's see here. We haven't sold anything yet. That's kind of annoying. Now let's see if we've produced anything yet. Let's go to properties. Let's get rid of the turrets and the cargo. We don't need that. Um, click on the refinery. Click on cargo. So far he has not produced anything yet. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll wait. So you know how to make this thing start mining. Okay. So that's not a problem. Now at this point, you could force him to go around and collect the stuff he's already mined. It's not necessary. If you want to, you can. If not, then don't. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, see, he, already, he went and did it on his own. That's great. Um... We're gonna I'm gonna pause it now, and when I return, um, we're gonna return when I actually have something to sell. Okay. All right. Great. All right. We're back, and check it out. We've done a scan of the refinery, and we have diamonds that we can sell. Now, of course, first of all, you have to make sure that you can actually sell the things you have. Okay. So let's go to property. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cargo prices. Oh, and if you noticed, we also have advanced alloys. Okay, so we got advanced alloys and diamonds. Okay. Log. Cargo prices. We sell diamonds yet? No, we don't know where the buyers are. Okay. 
either no buyers exist or you just don't know where they are yet. Which means in reality you'd want to at least have a way to explore. Okay, you can buy um, intel, and intel from other ships. Obviously you just click on them, communications, get the intel, um, or go exploring. Okay, let's see here. Now we do have a place that will buy our advanced alloys. So let's do that though, okay? Let's unpause. Let's do this manually. Let's just go here. So I stopped the autopilot, okay? No big deal. Dock. Cargo transfer. Not trade, cargo transfer. Click on the ore. Click on just one of the options to transfer it over. And transfer it. No big deal, okay? Let's see if anyone's bought this stuff yet. Go to transactions. No one's bought anything yet. So let's go ahead and go back to cargo transfer. And now let's take as many... Hold on, that's not going to work. There you go. Boom. Fill up your cargo hold with some advanced alloys. And now... Cargo prices. Toggle waypoint, move to. Okay, we're going to pause it again. Alright, now we have docked with the hypersleep pod in the same sector. Let's go to trade. And let's just click on sell. You go to log, transactions, and look at that. We've just made 7,000 plus credits. Okay. So, considering the purchases purchase, purchases we've already made, we've already made some money. That's pretty good. Okay. So that's pretty much how you do this. All right. Um, that's generally how this works. Now, as you save up money, what you do from here is up to you, okay? I recommend getting another mining ship. I would also recommend upgrading your mining vessels, okay, so they can go faster, have more shielding. You don't need, um, you probably don't need the missiles or the mines or the ECM because... You're not going to use this thing to fight. Remember, we have a turret. The point of the turret is to defend the area and defend and to defend you. So if pirates come along, all you do is take your mining vessels and park inside your refinery. Let the turrets do the work, okay? The turrets will do their job for you, don't worry. Okay. In fact, if you have to... Buy another turret. Okay, in the meantime, line asteroids. That's it. Remember the fleet settings. Prefer to dock, intercept hostiles, which will allow your ships to defend themselves, and pick your refinery. Restrict jump distance to zero. Now, if for some reason your mining vessels want to go someplace else, and sell their ore, you can always redirect them manually to your own base. Okay. At this point, what you spend your money on is up to you, but I would personally say, you know, in this order, another mining vessel, a hauler, a dedicated hauler, to ferry around goods to other stations to make money, faster, um, eventually another turret, and or an actual military vessel, maybe a couple flyers or hornets. In my case, I prefer to have an Orion. Um, and don't pick fights until you're actually ready to do so. At this stage, 
it would be a really bad idea to pick a fight and get into a war with anyone. But once you have enough ships, in my case even a single Orion would be enough in my opinion, as long as I had a couple turrets to defend my area, I would be fine. Um, as long as I had a military base to park at, I'd be in good shape. Um, and that's it. It's not the most fun way to start the game. I mean, this is definitely boring. Because all you're doing is watching this guy collect rocks. Um, but generally speaking, we can make money now. Look at that. We've already sold alloys to some random trader. Okay. You, you do a lot of purchasing. Okay. Hands down, I'm not going to lie. You do a lot of purchasing. Okay. And your, your refinery will slowly fill up with stuff. Okay, I'm not going to lie about that. It does slowly fill up. But you will, you will make money. And it's a pretty safe way to make money. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That's it. That's how you do it. Okay. And I hope you uh, hope you find this educational. Probably not entertaining, but educational at least. Okay. Simple step-by-step -step process. Um, guys, you know. So you set up your base. You set up your station. Get a turret. Get a hauler. Get a hauler M specifically. And sell your two initial ships. You don't need them, and you need the money to get your supplies going. And that's it. And this is Justin Ponarelli of the Holler M Mars, signing off and saying, until next time, guys, take care. Hope you enjoyed.